This tutorial is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hello video editors, thanks for watching Storytium. In this video I'll show you some handy Premiere Pro keyboard shortcuts. These can help you to speed up your editing workflow and can be a huge time saver, especially if you have hours of footage to sort out. And since we're talking about saving time, let's quickly move over to Premiere and start some editing. First of all, I'm using the standard keyboard shortcuts inside Premiere, so no custom shortcuts. And if you want to see all of them, you can go to Edit and then go to Keyboard Shortcuts. And here are all the standard keyboard shortcuts inside Premiere. Knowing the most important ones can save you a lot of time. If you edit often in Premiere, you probably know the most used ones, like the C key for the Razor tool, the V key for the Selection tool, the T key for the Type tool and so on. But now let's take a look at some other ones that you may not know or use often but can still be very useful. And for the first ones that I want to highlight, let's start at the project panel. As you can see here, I've imported a bunch of clips. If I now click on one of the clips, it will open up in the source monitor. You could now simply hit spacebar or click this icon to play back the video. But if you have hours of footage, then this can be very time consuming. Using the L key instead will play back on a higher speed. And if you press L again, it will go even faster. So let's go to the beginning of the clip and then if I press the L key, you can see the difference. And you can also see each time that I hit the L key, it will go a bit faster. You can also do the same in reverse by hitting the J key. And hitting it multiple times will speed it up even more as well. Okay, so let's say that we found a part in the clip that we want to use. That's where you would create an in point. The standard keyboard shortcut for this is the I key. And then to create an out point, you need to hit the O key. And now that we've created an in and out point, we can hit the comma key to add the clip to the timeline right at the point of the playhead. Let's pick another clip and then summarize. Playback with the L key, set an in point with the I key, set an out point with the O key, and then the only step left is hitting the comma key to add it to the timeline. So instead of mouse clicking all the time to start and stop playback and clicking here for an in or out point, then dragging it over to the timeline, you can do this all a lot faster with some keyboard shortcuts. I know it might take some time to get used to this, but if you do this more often, then it would definitely save you a lot of time. And now before I move over to the next set of keyboard shortcuts, a quick message from the sponsor of this video, Envato Elements. You're probably watching this video because you want to edit faster and save your precious time for more important things. Well, I think that Envato Elements is a must-have for video editors in this regard. They offer thousands of high-quality video editing templates for apps like Premiere Pro and After Effects. Besides video editing templates, they also offer stock videos, music and sound effects, fonts and much more. And this is all included in one single subscription. If you want to give them a try, then please use my temporary discount code that you can find in the video description. This way you can try them a month for a couple of dollars. Ok, now it's time to move back to Premiere and show you some more keyboard shortcuts that I use while editing on the timeline. And this one can also save you a lot of time. We're going to look at keyboard shortcuts for ripple edit. As an example, we're going to take one of the most common editing actions on the timeline inside Premiere. Ok, so here I've got a couple of clips ready on the timeline. And let's say that I want to shorten this clip. A lot of you watching would probably select the razor tool here and then cut the clip. And then go back to the selection tool by clicking this icon here, then select the part and remove it. Then select all the other clips on the timeline and then drag it to the left to glue it back to the rest of the project. Although this works and there's nothing wrong with this, it can be done so much faster. Actually this can be done by pressing one single button. So what you need to do is you need to put the playhead at the point that you want to cut. And now you can use the Q or W button to ripple edit or ripple trim the track. If I now press the Q button, then Premiere will remove this part on the left side of the playhead. And it will close the gap and the other clips will move along with that. And the same applies to the W button, but in this case it will remove the part on the right side of the playhead. You can also ripple edit by using your mouse combined with the keyboard shortcut B. Your mouse pointer will change into this yellow icon when you hover over the edge of a clip on the timeline. You can now move it to the left or the right to shorten or extend the clip. And again, the rest will move along with that. But what if you have multiple layers? That's a good question. Let's take this one as an example. Let's say that I want to ripple edit all the tracks except the background music. Well, if you want to exclude a track from ripple edit, you can lock the track. And you can do this by clicking this lock icon here next to the track. So if I now press the W button, it will impact all the tracks except the background music track. 
So to summarize, use the Q or W button to ripple trim. If you have multiple tracks, then lock the ones that you don't want to be affected by the ripple edit. And you've also seen how to use the ripple edit tool by using the B key combined with the left mouse button. But this is a bit more limited with multiple tracks, so keep that in mind. And as a bonus, I will now show you a new key and mouse combo that can help you to save some time. In the December 2021 update for Premiere, Adobe added some improvements to the pen tool. You can now create perfect angles using a key and mouse combo. In older versions, it would take a lot more effort to create a perfect straight line, a 45 degrees or a 90 degrees angle. But now you can use the shift key combined with the left mouse button to create perfect angles. And you can also use this on existing linear points and move them around in 45 or 90 degree angles. It also works if you want to create a new bezier point to create a curve with constrained handles. You can see all the variations to the new mouse key combo on screen now. I think it's a nice and welcome update to the pen tool which could also save you a lot of time. And these were the keyboard shortcuts that I wanted to share with you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new today. If you did then please like the video or leave a comment below. That really helps me to grow my channel. And finally, as always, thanks a lot for watching and I wish you all a wonderful day.